We'll talk, talk to the farmers in the field uh, about the, the importance of soil structure. So that's down to looking after your soil and basically keeping the, the soil open and keeping the porosity uh, in the soil. So in an ideal world, soil has got more or less 50% porosity. So uh, if you have a, a lump of soil in your hand, it should have about 50% holes and 50% solid material. And within those holes, you should have about 50% air and 50% water as a good balance. So when you drive over the soil, when you traffic and when you compact it, you reduce that porosity. And it's very important to try to avoid that because plant roots need to be able to grow quickly through the soil, water needs to be able to drain very quickly through the soil, and you need to have a capacity for air in the soil as well. So all of those things added together mean that it's very important with tyres on equipment to have low pressure. And this was really the point of the demonstration today, to show the difference between high pressure and low pressure in tyres and look at the effect that that has on the water going through the soil, the infiltration of the water. And we found with the same, the same tractor, the same weight on the tractor, just different tyre pressures, we had a situation where the high pressure uh, tyres created uh, quite a lot of compaction and it was very difficult for the water to infiltrate down through. And small tube I showed to farmers still had water in it, which showed that basically it wasn't getting into the soil very quickly, whereas the low pressure, the water was going relatively quickly in the soil. So as a result of that, the soil is going to be able to hold on to the water. The water isn't going to run off the top of the field and take with it uh, nutrient, nitrogen, pesticides, herbicides for problems, but also nutrients as well. So it's a win-win situation. If you, can, if you can get your pressures down, then you're going to benefit the soil. Equally, if you get the pressures down and get them optimal, as you have demonstrated in other parts of the uh, site, then you can get better efficiency of diesel, better efficiency of, of the tractor. So, in all honesty, it is a complete win-win situation. The soil benefits and also the farmer diesel use, his pocket benefits as well.